The Focus First software makes creating a real estate review super efficient and really a powerful tool for you and your business. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to create your real estate review report quickly and effectively. So step one, you're gonna set up your MLS export format. Now, hopefully you already did this in the getting started stage, but if you haven't done that yet, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to focusfirst.com, click on our support tab, and then click this link here. It says find your MLS export instructions. Once you open this, you're gonna to go to your area and follow the step-by-step -step instructions to set up your MLS export so that it exports the right data. Once that's ready, you're gonna to go to step two, which is searching the MLS for the right data and exporting it so you can load it in the software. Now, in order to find the right data for the software, we recommend just using our basic searching guide. You can find that in your account. Once you log in under the Reviews Resources tab, right here saying MLS Searching Guide. If you click here, you'll find a quick video on how to use this and a download link here. After downloading it, what you'll end up finding is this PDF. This PDF guides you on how to get the right data for the software. Now, this is the right data for the software so you can find the right patterns, not necessarily what you would normally use, and it's very important. We need the right amount of data and enough information to get you the accurate neighborhood information. So, most cases you're gonna use this top box here, which is the standard neighborhood. If you're not part of a standard neighborhood, you might bump down to the no neighborhood where you're gonna use, instead of a neighborhood name, you're gonna use a map search and look for natural boundaries. These can be rivers, major highways, major intersections, and such. And in the rarest cases, if you have a very unique property, let's say it has a view of a specific mountain or it adjusts to a specific river or something that's very unique to that specific little home that you can find spread out maybe throughout the city or the little local area, but not necessarily the neighborhood, you're gonna search by that property identifier. Now, what you end up finding though, is you're looking for the same property type Meaning if you're searching for single family homes, you find single family homes. If you're searching for condos, you do condos. The area, or in this case, neighborhood, the last two years of all data, sold, active, under contract, and everything. This is the information the software needs to get the right patterns. Once you've done that, you're gonna export it, and now we're ready to load it into the Focus First software. And that takes us to step three, loading it in. Now for the rest of this, I'm gonna stay in the software. So just note, step three, loading it in, creating a real estate review report, inspecting to make sure it's a good, and if you have to change the scattergram, that's all gonna be in the software. So, let's jump in and show you that now. When you first open the software, you're gonna have this window pop up. Make sure you say enable macros. Now this is on a Mac, so if it's on a PC, you'll see a little drop down window. But click enable macros, it's what allows the software to run. After it opens up, you're gonna click start here, and it's gonna ask you for your MLS location. Now you can always select this little box here and it will stop asking for it, but I'm gonna leave it blank just since I'm demonstrating this right now. Click OK, and it'll open a window to, to find your export file. So wherever you save that export file from your MLS, you're gonna go there and you're gonna open that file. The first box that pops up asks for the subdivision area name and the city name. I'm gonna go ahead and click done because this is correct. And then just a few seconds, the real estate reviews report is automatically made for you. You can see it pop up right here. Now this two page report is super simple, but super powerful. On the front we have the three main neighborhood patterns, the time to close, the odds of selling, and the buying pattern, and on the back we have a scattergram. Now, a lot of this, especially the header and footer is customizable, you can add a logo here, and we're gonna cover that in the next video, which is all about customizing your report. But at this point, you would be good to go. The only thing that you might have to do is look at the scattergram, and if there is some data that doesn't make sense or shouldn't be on there, the way you change this is by clicking on the pricing button here, creating whatever scattergram you need, and selecting the right data, and after you create it, it'll pop up to here, showing you the actual graph. With this graph open, you click Add to RER, and it says, are you sure that you wanna change it? If you say yes, give it a few, a few seconds, and it will change right here, updating that scattergram. As simple as that, you've created your first real estate re reviews report. So in the next video, we're gonna go over how to customize and how to find and add the additional pages like a cover sheet.